hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created a page to show the user's order and we created the faq entity in our backend application in today's video we will create the post faq api call in our spring boot application and then we will call this api from our angular application so let's get started here in the FAQ service implementation, first of all, we need to inject the FAQ repository and then we need to inject the product repository as well. Now let's import these classes here. And after this, we can start writing the method to post the FAQ and this method will return FAQ DTO and we can name this method as post faq and in the params we will mention long product id and after the product id we will mention faq dto and here in this method first of all we will create one optional variable of product and we can name this as optional product and we will call our product repository dot find by id method and in the params we will pass the product id and after this we will write one if condition and we will check if optional product dot is present then only we will create the new faq entity otherwise we will write return statement and we will return null in the block of the if condition we will create new faq entity and we will name it as faq and after this we can start putting the details in our faq entity and first of all we will set the question and we will use faq dto dot get question method and then we can duplicate this line and we need to update the setter method to set answer and we need to update the getter method to get answer after setting the answer we need to set the product in the faq so we can use dot set product method and here we will pass optional product dot get and after this here we will write the return statement and we will call our faq repository dot save method and then we will pass the faq in the params and after this we will call a method get faq dto to convert this to dto and that's it for the method in the service implementation now let's go to the faq entity and here we need to create the method and this method will return faq dto and we can name this method as get faq dto and in the body of this method we will create a new faq dto and first of all we need to set the faq id so we can use dot set method and we will pass the id after the id of the faq we will set the question and after the question we will set the answer and after the answer we will set product id which we can get by calling product dot get id and at the end we will write the return statement and we will return faq dto now let's go back to faq service implementation and you can see that error got resolved now let's copy this and let's go to faq service and let's paste it here now let's go to admin product controller and here first of all we need to inject the faq service and we need to import this class here and then we can start writing the endpoint for the post faq and this method will return a response entity of faq dto and we can name this method as faq dto and then here we will give the annotation for the path variable and we will mention long product id and after the path variable we will give annotation for request body and we will mention faq dto and here in this method we will write the return statement and we will use response entity dot status method and in the status we will pass http status dot created 
and then we will call dot body method and in this body method we will use our faq service dot post faq method and in the params we will pass product id and faq dto and at the end we will mention the post mapping annotation for this method and for the path we will pass it as slash faq slash product id our post faq endpoint is completed now let's run our application and as you can see our application is up on port 8080 now let's go to our angular application and let's create a page to post the faq and here in our angular application first of all we need to create the api call and for this we can open our admin service and we can copy this existing change order status api and we can paste it here and then we need to change the name to post faq and in the params we will accept product id and after product id we will mention faq dto after this we need to update the method call to post and then instead of order id we will pass the product id and we will uh, remove the second path variable and then we will mention the request body which we can pass as faq dto at the end we need to update the url which is api slash admin and here we need to mention the faq instead of order our api call is completed now let's save this file now let's open our components folder and we need to open this in integrated terminal and here we need to give the command to create the component which is ng g for generate c for component and we will name this component as post product faq our component is ready now let's go to admin routing file and here we can copy our existing orders route and for the path we need to update it to faq slash product id and here product id is a variable and after this we need to update the component to post product faq component now let's save this routing file now let's go to our post faq component and here we need to open the ts file and first of all we will create the constructor for this file and in this constructor we need to inject the form builder to build our reactive form and then we need to inject the router to navigate the user after creation of the faq after the router we need to inject the mat snack bar to show the messages and after snack bar we need to inject our admin service and after our admin service we need to inject our activated route to get the params value from the url now let's import all of these here and to get the product id from the url we will create a variable here and we will name it as product id and this should be of type number and we will use this dot activated route dot snapshot and here we need to use dot params and after this we will mention the variable which is product id in our case after this let's create a form group and let's name it as faq form and let's import it here after this we will create the ng on init method for this file and in this method we will mention the controls for our faq form and we will use this dot form builder dot group method and the first control which we want is the question and for the validators i am passing it as validator dot required after the question we need to mention the control for the answer now let's import these validators here and the last method we need for this file is post faq and in this method we will call this dot admin service dot post faq and in the params we will pass the product id and then we will pass our faq form dot value and then we will subscribe the response and we will write the arrow function and here in the body we will write one if condition and we will check if res dot id is not equal to null 
then we will use the snack bar and we will show a message that FAQ posted successfully and we will use our router to redirect our user to the admin dashboard after this we will write the else block and in this else block we will show a message that something went wrong now let's save this file and let's go to the html file and in this html file first of all we need to write a tag for the div and we need to give it a class of container and in this container we will write a tag for the h2 and we will mention post faq in the tag after this we will write the tag for the form and for the form group i am passing faq form and on ng submit i am calling post faq method in this form first of all we need to mention the control for our question and for the form control name i am passing it as question and then i wrote the tag for the mat error after the question we will mention the form field for the answer and at the end we will write a button tag and we will mention post faq in the button now let's save this file and let's go to the css file and here i will paste the code for the css you can pause the video and you can copy the code or you can write your own code now let's save this file and as you can see our application got compiled without any errors now let's go to the browser and let's validate the functionality for post faq after the logging in we can click on this faq button of the any product and you can see the post faq form now let's write something in the question input and then write anything in the answer and then we will click on the post faq button and you can see we got the message that faq posted successfully now in the mysql workbench let's open the faq table and you can see we got one faq created and that's it for this video in the next video we will create the api call to update the product details